యా హాయ్ శ్రీధర్ హాయ్ శ్రీధర్ కాలింగ్ శ్రీధర్ హాయ్ ఓకే ఫైన్ so fine uh, so can you tell me like what's the difference between react real dom versus virtual dom okay real dom and virtual dom is like uh, like virtual dom is like it creates the exact copy of the real dom uh, like if there is any changes made in the real dom it only the virtual dom compares that only that change it calculates the entire components and it only updates that particular component instead of re-rendering all the components it it uh, it, it allows i can't hear you now again okay 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 hello can you hear me yeah yeah like uh, it creates instead of rendering all the components it only renders that particular component whatever whatever we changed in that component it allows us to it like application most optimizing mhm okay just a minute so what are the main features of react what are the main features of react main features of react are like first thing is like virtual dom and the second thing is like a components it is a reusable in react it has reusable components instead of we can reuse the components and the jsx we can write the html tags in react using jsx and those are the core components core so components. what is jsx a uh, jsx is like a javascript and xml which allows us to write the html tags in react okay uh one so uh, can you create i mean okay, can you uh, create a react app and uh, uh, show me meaning uh, can you write the code for it in uh, uh, in any id that you want okay so i need to share my screen yeah okay wait a minute so explain me step by step what what each each of those i will do okay yes, i can see okay Yes I can see I can see. Okay uh, can you repeat again what you like a uh... can you create a react component okay? okay and then show me how do you uh, pass the properties props and uh, how do you access them how do you maintain the state okay so just a simple simple code okay okay and allows us to class into it can allows us to extend the app into react component and then we'll be using constructor
Uh, just give me one minute, okay? Okay. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Hello. Yeah, <laughs> this work from home and kids. Okay. Yeah, can, can you please repeat uh, this program? Hello. Hello. Ah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can, can you please explain this? Okay. First, we'll be using class app where app extends its to React component and constructor. Constructor is like, like it initializes the local state of the component by assigning an object to this. Where super refers to super super refers to the class. I can't hear you. Hello. What, what, I mean, you can maintain the same kind of uh, okay. Okay. same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. going on and off. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, Hello. You now? yeah now better. Okay, uh, fine. Where, so here, constructor is like constructor is used to initialize the local state of the component by assigning an object to this. Where super is like it super refers to the class, and it allows us to like it allows a super refers to the parent class, and it allows us to access the properties and method of the constructor. And this dot state, this dot state is used to set the initial state value, and then I'm accessing this dot state dot name value here, displaying the name here, like and passing the props, like sorry, passing the props to the child, and on click event on click through arrow functions the setting the through this state state i'm setting the empty to hello okay so how do you uh, create components in react create components in react through fun functional components and class components so what what are those and when do you use uh, them Okay, earlier 16.8 version comf uh, functional components were stateless, and where will we in functional components earlier before before 16.8 they were only like to for if there is any no state changes then we will be using functional components. 
now functional components are also can you can also manage the state where with the concept of hooks hooks were introduced in the functional components through hooks we can manage the state in the component like use state through use state we can update the state of the functional component of functional component by giving the initial value and the initial value and the set value to the left hand side and the right hand side we will be using the use state and giving it in it will be giving the initial value and okay can you can you write uh, a function component simple function component on the class component okay i think class is all okay, okay. okay. is this the class component okay need to import use state from react and then the initial value will be name want to change on click this is it. okay so this is a function oh, component. component yes here we are setting the initial value with empty and on click through event handling on click we will be setting the empty name with hello so how do we call this hello function hello function this one Okay, oh, this one. Function hello. Yeah. Okay. Need to import into the app function like a parent in app. So need to export okay. export it. Put and we need to import in the parent component. Okay. So what are pure components? Pure components are like uh, uh, it compares the shallow comparison of the it it compares the shallow comparison of the previous state with current state and previous props with current props. If there is any changes, it only then only it renders the component. If no, if no, if there is no change in the prop props or state, then it will not re-render. It it by default it 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 implements should component update. Like it returns the, if there is an if it checks a shallow comparison, then it returns mm -hmm. if the changes are if there is no changes made, it will not re-render. Okay. So I have a state in in my application, okay, okay. Uh, in my class. Okay. So can I update that state directly, like uh, this dot state equal to something? Uh, uh, yes, we can, but it it uh, like it creates the my mostly it gives us the it we should not do that but we, we can do that it gives us the like complexity errors in the code why i mean like why it, the it code not, gets compiled right yes, it will not re-render through set state re-rendering the state but through this dot state it, it will not re-render okay yes. so we have event handling in both uh, normal HTML and also React, right? So, yeah. what's the difference between uh, event handling in both HTML and React? HTML in React, like uh, yeah. in React on click, 
we'll be using in here we'll be using like in a camera case like on click mm -hmm. in normal in normal javascript we'll be using just on click with the normal Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, by the way, uh, I forgot to mention. Uh, I think you are supposed to switch on the video. Yeah, right? yeah. For this interview, was yeah, it communicated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 